Hello my dear friend, hope you are well. Today we are going to discuss a small interesting topic and the topic name rust and motion. You know, you heard this word rust and motion in several times. Yes, from your school level you have already studied about this rust and motion. If an object is not moving then we call the object in the state of rust. If an object is moving, then we call the object in the state of motion. Today, we will understand this uh, rust and motion in little more deeper level. So, for that study, let us consider this uh, figure. Here I have shown some figures. I will explain everything presented here. Uh, yes, here you can see a person who is standing on the ground surface. Yes, you can take up, uh, this is a situation like uh, a person who is waiting for bus in a bus stop. And uh, here I have shown a bus. Uh, actually, the bus is not rushed. Buses move with uh, some speed uh, in this direction. And inside the bus, uh, you can see a passenger is standing on this uh, bus. And near to this passenger, you can see a suitcase. Okay, this is a situation at the time zero second. Uh, so at the zero second now, this is my picture. You can see a bus, inside the bus, there is a passenger and a suitcase and outside the bus, there is a person who is waiting for his bus in a bus stop. Okay, now as you know, when time moves, the bus will reach in another position. So here I have shown some dotted line. This is the representation of the bus at corresponding time two second now. Uh, because the bus is not stationary, bus is moving. Due to that movement, uh, the bus reaches here. So this is the position of the bus at the time two second. Uh. So inside the bus, you can see the same passenger, same suitcase here. Okay. Now we are going to analyze this situation uh, with respect to these two peoples. Yes. With respect to this person or the person who is standing on the bus stop. He sees that the suitcase at two different position in two different time interval. Okay. So from 0 to 2 seconds, he sees that the suitcase at a different position. So with respect to this person who is standing on the bus stop, the suitcase position is changing. So which means that the suitcase is in the state of motion with respect to this person. As you know, from this uh, <coughs> from with respect to this person. Or the person who is standing on this bus sees the suitcase uh, near to him at t equal to 0 second similarly at t equal to 2 second the distance between them is not changing actually this distance must be keep here also so with respect to this person the suitcase is not moving so we will say with respect to the passenger or the passenger who is standing or who is uh, inside the bus sees uh, the suitcase in the straight of stop. Actually we are getting two states for the suitcase. Can you give me which one is absolute true? Yes. This both are absolute true with respect to them because with respect to this person, the suitcase is in the state of motion. With respect to this person, the suitcase is in the state of rust. So, we need to understand uh, from this situation is that uh, the state of rust and state of motion are relative terms. If an observer is changing, the observation also be changed. Here we have two observers. And the speciality of this observer is that he is moving along with this bus because he is present inside the moving bus. But this observer is not moving. So he sees a, a different state of suitcase with respect to this person. So here we have the two observer and two observer are reporting two different observation also. So please note that in physics observation and observer are very important. And similarly, you cannot give an absolute rust and absolute motion for a body. You can always give relative. And note that this rust and motion are relative terms. Hope you understood. Thank you.